Vagabonds, this is A Sides with John Chapman. That's it. Kind of say like like a like a soul kind of infusion of hip hop kind of like a like if you ever listen to like Jay Dilla instrumentals things like that we kind of had that background you know but we also we're, we're, we're pretty diverse we have songs like Shine that are kind of like EPMD very bouncy tracks I mean yeah. yeah we have a producer named Helix who makes a lot of weird tracks yeah so a lot of EDM beats. Uh, Broccoli Rob, we make some, you know, like, kind of, what would you call them? Like, they're kind of, they're, they're kind of e emotional type, kind of yeah. type of beats, kind of like emo. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. They're very dark, kind of like a Earl Sweatshirt type thing, but yeah. We try to like, branch out, you know, be good for it. Man, I'm a person, but a black man, I'm a human being, fighting evil, making music for the people. The people. Yeah, man. Just trying to make some um, I would say Nas, definitely. Nas. Jay Z. Uh, who else? Who else do you like? I fuck with Freddie Gibbs or not. He's my favorite. Freddie Freddie Gibbs, pretty dope. Um, Wu, Wu Tang, you know. So, yeah. I listen to a lot of Joey too, like a lot in high school. So he's up there. He's close. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On the medical, credible, like even amongst the critics, I'm happy pushing the civic. I always been independent, so I'm dealing on the writer's block. I would definitely break bread with Pac. I think Tupac, like, he's one of my biggest influences, you know. Um, I, I had the nose ring for him, you know. He has, he actually has this shirt right now, a Pac shirt right now. So, Tupac's definitely one of those big guys for me. Yeah. Definitely, I would say Bob Marley. Cause like yeah. that should be crazy. He smoked a lot of weed. Yeah. Yeah. That's a break bread with anybody. It would probably be uh Basquiat. 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 Yo, the way his mind works and the way he portrays his art is just amazing to me. I would like to get some type of influence from him, something like that. In five years, probably still doing this. I mean, like to to make it in hip hop is a very long process. You have people like J Cole who was working since they were like sixteen. You know what I mean? And just New York, just going to different parties, trying to spit. So. Um, we're all going to college though, so it's going to be a little difficult. We're going to be in different places. I'm going to be in Albany, he's going to be in Philadelphia, he's going to be in Connecticut. So it's going to be a little kind of more complex to kind of get together. Yeah. Yeah. We got like, I think John's going to school in California, like, you know, just like going to different places. Yeah. But I feel like that's like how we got the idea of Vagabond, just like traveling and just doing music yeah. everywhere. That's what I want to do, like, you know. That's what experience me things. See what like college takes me. You know, I'm still gonna be like doing music in school and whatnot. And I'm just I'm not studying like, like music. I'm studying musical theater, so that's weird. So like I'm gonna be doing that and rapping. So it's be fun. We'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Knowing the fact that in this life I ain't the only one Used to pray to God cause I was told he was the holy one Until I went to school and I found out he was the only one. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> that was I mean. We we had an open mic at Hunts Point, which were really good. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot and about that. Um, it was really chill. It was like a chill setting. Oh yeah, Lady Scott. She opened, right? Yeah, yeah she yeah. performed there, and it was yeah, pretty dope. Um, but other than that, I mean, it really depends on what type of energy we get from the crowd. I think I think that's that's one thing. I mean, with, with an event like BB King's, it was very rowdy already, and it seemed like it was a lot of tension. Already, <laughs> it was a pretty long night, so yeah. But I gotta be, people gotta be like amped up. I gotta be amped up before I can't. I can't go if I'm not like, like you know. Yeah, I gotta get ready. I gotta like bring it before people. You know, like it's a process. Yeah. yeah.
It definitely is. <laughs> Tell me what I gotta do to make them think about us Nah, 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 but they gon' think about us I put that on my... Um, you guys can find us on SoundCloud at The Vagabonds Uh, Facebook at The Vagabonds With a Z at the end, no S Yeah, with a Z at the end V-A-G-A-B-O-N-D-Z Um, and the message that I personally would give the fans is Um, no matter what, we're always gonna progress. I think that's one thing. We're all very determined to, to get better. So no matter what type of position we are in, anywhere, like just know that we're, we're a group that works for the fans. We're putting out music that we feel that should continuously get better. So, what about you, your message? That was positive, I like that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would say that we just like, we just like making music and living. You know, the whole vagabond movement, like, it's not, it was funny how it started because, like, we would go, like, recording at Flatbush and this yeah, kid's crib, very deep. We live in Harlem. And it was, like, a two-hour, <laughs> two-hour train <laughs> trip. <laughs> yeah, 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 so. So going to the studio recording and just, like, doing that, just, like, just the whole vagabond thing. It's just, like, always, like, just do what you want to do and just, like, don't let nobody tell you nothing. It's, like, being free or not. Yeah. You know, just stay moving, you know, I like it. Cool. This is how put out. That I fucked with. Um, just do you. There's no losing when you're just doing you. Don't compare yourself, especially with your type of music. If you compare yourself to another dude, you're gonna get like that type of energy and mess it with your your energy. And it's gonna be like a whole different vibe. Yeah. If you just do you and do your music, it's that's you win automatically. Yeah. All right, young Zachary. Believe in yourself and have confidence, no matter what. Like uh, against all the odds, if you believe something, you you should stand for that. That's what I believe. Real shit. Yeah, that was real. It's good little Zachary. <laughs> Y'all know me. I know you though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, she said it's really real. So just gonna be ready. Like, it's gonna be good all day. And it's, like, it's gonna switch up. Hold your head up high. Keep fighting, never surrender, and you make it. <laughs> you guys What's going on, little Zach? In life, you got to have your own motives and um, your own passions and stuff like that. But always listen to your pops and listen to your elders, because they've been, they've been in the game of life for much longer. They've got to have a, a one or two sense about what you should not and should do. So, yeah. Some older brothers. Some older brothers. <laughs> yeah. And it's right, and not saying it's wrong, but not saying it's life, now that's lying in the song. It's wrong, and it's sad, and it's bad, and it's hurtful, I virtue, and I'm hurt.